All right, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, this is my white shorts collection. And the reason why I'm kind of showing casing this uh, off to you, everyone, is, you know, when it comes down to white shorts, I'm really passionate about the anime collectibilities. I love anything that has to do with anime. I want to create my own anime. I want to create my own manga. And I got into white shorts because I love TCG as well. Um, so this is kind of showcasing, you know, you're like, well, why am I going to listen to somebody that doesn't even play white shorts? Ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm going to put to, put to rest right here because, look, I have a collection. I could have made top tier decks all day because you're going to see another collection that I do have that's just monstrous. It's not that I don't know how to play. Uh, I guess it is I don't know how to play, but I don't have nobody to play with. And that's why my forward path to becoming an LGS, trying to build something and trying to build society around this particular anime, white shorts culture, and just the Japanese trading card game in, in general. That's what this channel is for, and that's what I'm trying to strive to at the very end of it. So first things first, what we have here is going to be the entire set of Madoka 1. Now, if you have not watched the anime of Madoka 1, um, I do recommend watching it. There's, uh, there's basically 12 episodes, or you can watch three movies. The third movie is they made a whole uh, set for it himself. You got the Kyubei right here. You got Mami Tomoe. Um, this whole thing gets goes from 0 to 100 real quick in the darkness category. You think it's going to be like a, a high school girl, magical high school girl type of deal. It, 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 it just turns sour right away. Um, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this. So if you see a set, I'm going to start talking about the set. So first and foremost is basically it's between... Mami Tomoe, so you got Mami Tomoe, you got Homura, and you got Madoka. Um, I do have quite a few um, uh, SPs in here, so you guys kind of got to watch out for it. This girl right here was kind of pretty mean. Um, she takes away, uh, not Kyoko Sakura, but she's also in it. And then this girl right here, Sayaka, he takes, uh, she takes Sayaka's boyfriend away. Or she couldn't even tell him that he, uh, she liked him and all that stuff. And the reason that she became a uh, a school uh, magical school girl type of deal is because she wanted to save that guy, and the guy got with that girl, and it was all bad, and she became all sour, and then she became a monster. Like uh, I don't know if I have the picture of it, but she became a monster. Um, but that's kind of like the story, and it just goes back and forth. These are all the like the PR cards that we do have. Um, the movie, uh, the movie takes a little bit of a different twist to it. The movie is all about. These two, Madoka and Homura. Homura wants to save Madoka. Madoka kind of dies because she wants to save everyone. Um, but Homura, in the end, just wants to be with Madoka. So that's why everybody says it's a girl on girl action type of deal. But <clears throat> you go through this entire thing. It's a really good anime. You got the ultimate Madoka. <clears throat> I think it's a must watch when it comes down to anime and the sets that I do have are all going to be based on animes that I do watch and I do like to see. This is the triple rare I believe that we have here. Looks really good right? I think the, the foiling and stuff on this is actually really good. I'm missing a couple PR cards as well. Um, but when it comes down to the SPs, I do collect the ones with their full name on it. So this one came out of the trial deck. Uh, Madoka Kan... Uh, Kaname. Yeah, Kaname. Kaname Madoka. We got... Sayaka Miki, Mami Tomoe, Kyoko Sakura, and then we have the Homura. I bought the Homura. I bought these three. I pulled this one, but I bought these three. I think I spent like 50 bucks on these and I put 20 bucks on these two. This one I was going to spend 70 bucks on on Amazon, but I found somebody posted on TCG Player one night at 33 bucks. I picked it up right away. I was so happy I was able to get this set. So when it comes to SPs on this front, I'm probably not going to buy any more because, hey, I got the name, so I'm happy. I'm good to go with that. And, <clears throat> of course, you got the contact collection. I have every single card on the contact collection, too. I'm actually going to be picking up Kantai 1. I'm going to be picking up probably a case of those um, because nobody has it. But apparently, uh, we can. I got a guy that can get it. So, you know, through a couple of tribulations and stuff like that, we're able to strike a deal. Um, I did buy a lot of the SPs, or no, that the SPs, the S, uh, triple rares and the super rares on this set. Um, but so I'm kind of guess just showcasing one side of it. Of course, it's both sides, but you know. And everybody knows my favorite Congo. 
and you got Hiei, and then you got um, Haruna. Um, I'm missing Haruna SP, so I do want that. I'm looking to spend around that $60 price point for it. Uh, but other than that, um, I probably won't do anything more with these guys. Um, as you know, I did pull the Kantai 3. This is the third one right here. The Kantai 3, I pulled... Where is that SP at? So I pulled an SP out of this one, the Kantai 3. But I heard Kantai 3 actually uh, took uh, the Italy one. So I think the Italy trophy came to Kantai 3. Somebody just came out of nowhere with it. Oh, where is it? But I did sell the SP for... If I can even find the SP. I believe it's on this side then. It's this one. Oh, there it is. This particular SP, I sold that for about $79.99 right away. Right off the bat, it sold. And that was actually pretty cool. Um, other than that, for this particular one, I only got one SP. Or actually, I got two. I have Nakachan, which is the idol. You know, the idol team. And then we got Kongo, the cheaper Kongo. I don't have the expensive one. Um, and then I got the super rares and triple rares, all the higher end for these. Because, you know, Ichibankan, Nibankan, Sanbankan, Yonbankan. Um, you have to keep them as a collection. I do want to get... I kind of wish they had Kitishima as an SP and Hiei as an SP as well. Instead of just these two. But, you know, if they do bring them out like that... Um, in the U.S. is not too popular, so I don't think you're going to see any more contact collection sets. Um, but in general, Japanese has just a ton of different um, products that are coming out. And then my choice for only picking up English uh, sets is that when you really look at it, if I can't read the card, it, it's, it's no use, you know? Um, the market for Japanese in the United States is really, really weak. So if I need to resell the value of it, you know, I'm definitely going to be picking up English. <clears throat> but here's my secondary collection here. Again, um, this is just for me to post up what I have. Um, and, you know, when it comes down to it, I can make awesome decks. Um, if I just wish I had a place to play, a place to talk about anime all the time, and that's kind of like where I want to be and where I want to go with this actual company. Um, but this is going to be Fate Zero, my original favorite Fate Zero. Got like an SR right here. Got the other S, oh, triple rare right here. Um, the SP is this particular one. I am looking to pay probably around that $60 range for it, but if it comes up, it comes up. If it doesn't, you know. Uh, no love lost. I already got a couple of these products right here. Um, nobody wants the Lancer one. Um, I, I don't really mind too much for Archer and all that. I just want a Saber out of this set. Because I really do like Saber out of this one. So when you actually look at it, um, the SPs that I do have for Fate Zero, as you can see I'm missing a couple of the, couple of the PR, to uh, PR cards right there. I have... Out of the trial deck saver, top class saver, I picked up that, that up for about 30 bucks. This was only about $20. So the Proxy Master, Iris Seville, we got that. And that kind of just came out and I just saw it and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pick it up because FYI, you know what? I, I, I don't know when I'm going to be able to find it again. And the thing about White Schwartz, right? And this is going to be my entire collection. I'm pretty sure you guys already seen that. I have a video on the uh, Fate Apocrypha. And you guys all saw me pull um, the ruler. I'm still looking for the Red Saber and Black uh, Berserker. Black Berserker, for some reason, on TCG Play, keeps pulling at 160 Doesn't make sense. It should be around that 80 to 100 bucks price point. Red Saber is not there. That one has a volatil volat volatility. It can go up to about... 200 but i think it's going to settle around that um 125 price point um and the reason is final flash red saber is actually a staple just like last shot seen on is it's a it's a finisher um but the thing is that when you look at uh white schwartz in general nobody sells their product and the thing is that the fandom is so strong that if there's an SP, nobody sells it. Unless they really just want to get the money for it. They want to get out of it. And that's the thing. When SPs, it's rare to hit the market for really good ones. So Akatsuki right here. I do want to get an Akatsuki. This is Log Horizon. This is the full uh, extra booster set. And uh, it's all... And yes, this is all 
base card plus foil. So the foil variant, I do have them all. I just don't have any SPs out of these guys. Um, but I do have the entire set for the extra boosters. Uh, I really uh, wanted to get the Akatsuki one. I don't care about Shudo, but I want um, Akatsuki because she's pretty tight. She's like the little... You know, little uh, little ninja that that can. So she's actually pretty cool. So this is my fairy tales one. So I'm pretty sure with the final season of Fairy Tale coming up, um, if you haven't watched Log Horizon, you should watch it. It's kind of slow though. So if you like that uh, VMMORPG type of deal, um, this is a good one. But it does start really slow. I think Overlord's a little bit better um, than Log Horizon because it's just too slow. So Fairy Tales has a final season, um, and I was I had the opportunity of picking up Fairy Tale booster boxes. It would probably be about like that sixty two eighty eight on the website type of price point. Um, but when you go through the entire set, right, you're like, okay, I'm gonna get the SPs. I'm gonna get the SPs, and let's talk about the SPs. This is actually a really great set. Um, I'm pretty sure with the final um, season, White Shorts should bring out another mechanic for them to make these guys uh, even more reputable, more stronger, you know what I mean? So you got, you know, SRs right there. Um, but the issue with this one is that the Trial deck has the better SPs in my opinion. Because this particular one, in the actual box, you have... Lucy, Natsu, Wendy, and Juvia. When you got Wendy, you have one voice actor and Juvia the voice actor. Natsu and Lucy is all Mashima. It's not the voice actor's hot stamp. It's Mashima's hot stamp. Like, like, I'm like, why do I want that? I, 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 I just sat there like, dude, I got, I, why did I get this? I don't want, I, you know, if it's going to be the creator, he should have put it on Happy or something. You know what I mean? But I wanted the voice actors. The trial deck in this has the voice actor. And I came up on Erza's voice actor one. This one came out of the trial deck. Natsu also comes out of the trial deck as well. Those, I think I bought, I actually paid for this one about 45 bucks. I was going to go back and get the Natsu one. But that one sold out right on me. So unfortunately I wasn't able to get it. But when it comes down to it, that's the only SP that I want. And uh, maybe the Juvia, because that's the actual voice actor. Or maybe the Wendy. But they don't hold a high value. So it's only around like 20 30 bucks you're going to spend. So it's not too bad. Um, but again, as a collector-wise, it's really difficult um, to pick up the high-tier high products. Um, especially like Red Saber, Black Berserker. Um, once the ruler gets sold, it's not going to come back. Saber's always been a popular item. Um... And as you can see, you know, there's also Fate Stay Night and Fate Ilya and all that. I'm not a fan of those. So that's why I don't actually have the collection set. Anything I'm a fan of, I will have a set of. Um, I think the next one you're going to probably end up seeing is uh, on this particular one. It's going to be not Sakura Card, card Capture because I'm not a fan of it. But I heard a lot of people do like it. I heard it's a great set. So I'll be stocking that up shortly. Putting it on pre-order. Um, but when it comes down to it. It's probably going to be uh, No Game No Life. GGO. And maybe the next bang. Determines on what's in there. Um, you know. So we have Attack on Titans. Um, I just actually picked up Eren right here. So this is an SP. As, this is the regular one. But I did pick up the SP. Um. I'm not too sure exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I do have the entire set of the number one. So this is the very first one for Attack on Titans. I have everything that you can get. I have a couple of the PR cards as well, and I have all these little promo cards on this particular side. Let me see where they at. Okay. But this one here kind of caught me off guard. This is the Attack on Titan 2. So I was a little bit... Um, I was late to the party when Attack on Titan 2 came out and it sold out on me really fast. So I just was able to get a couple boxes in. I opened up two boxes. I'm missing this one. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, this is the card that's 45 bucks. This freaking card, this one card is $45. It's not even an SP. That's the only thing I'm missing out of this collection. I will be picking it up because it's like that birdcage. I, I, I don't see myself just cry. But you know, 45 bucks, and then if I, if I put 30 more bucks in, I crack open an entire box and maybe get a SP out of it. 
you know, that's where it comes down to it. I, I'm not too sure exactly what to do from there. I am missing one card here, but I did order it. Um, but yeah, so when it comes down to Attack on Titans, I do have a couple of the SPs here. I have the Goddess Krista. She came out of nowhere. She became stupid popular after the second season. I don't know why. Um, I did pick up the Aaron. No, no, Armin. Um, I pulled this one out of the SP pile, and then I got the Mikasa. And I still can't believe how Aaron, in the end of Season 2, when Mikasa finally said, Hey, man, she's trying to pour her feelings out, and he said the dumbest thing I ever heard in my life. All right, that's something else. Um, that's going to be my Attack on Titan set. So, Cinderella Girls. I think I'm the only one that really likes this product. I picked up two more SPs out of here. Um, they're the promo case top recipes, so I got two of those uh, coming in. I am looking for her. Because I do like her on the anime. And then I got this one here as far as the SP is coming in. Um, I'm missing a Honda Mio as well. So I need her, her, and I've got this one. So I need these two for the SPs, but this is the entire set. I think I'm the only one that really likes Idol Masters, uh, Cinderella Girls, more than anyone. So uh, I think I'm alone on this one. So um, I did get a couple of cool SPs. So if you've seen a couple of the videos, you see me hella excited. I did pick up quite a few of those. Um, and we'll showcase those as well. Uh, I'm the guy on TCG Play that put one of them, the Shibuya room, for like $2.99 because I know it's not worth $2.99 and I'm not going to sell it. And, you know, if somebody buys it for $2.99, I'm going to be damned. But, you know, I just put it up there as a showcase piece. That's going to be a Triple Rare SR, I believe. It's a little shiny on there. No, it's not. Oh, it's just a glare. I got a glare going. All right, but I am looking for these three on the bottom here. I also want these three SPs. I might pick her up, but these three SPs are really good. I like these two as a set. The two girls right here. And I do like Ronko. Ronko's tight because they're kind of... You got to... If you're buying a triple set, you're buying these three. Just like Shibuya, Ren, and all those guys. You need those triple three. Um, other than that, I think that's it on the Cinderella girls. I got all the SPs here as well. So, I got this one first. So, when it comes to the trial decks, right? Do not open up six trial decks. So you're only guaranteed a triple rare, super rare, or an SP. That's it. You're only guaranteeing one of those. Nothing else. But this is going to be um, uh, Shimamura Uzuki, I believe. Got that one. That was my first out of six pack. I pulled this one out of a Meister set. I was just cracking over Meister sets. And I was just like, you know what? I need to get the set. It was kind of a lot of duplicates. But I pulled this one. I didn't record it. But I pulled it. I was super excited about this one these three are actually the ones i've actually pulled myself and this one here the shibuya rin this is out of the trial deck as well that's why i'm looking for the honda mio out of the trial deck i would love to get that one because it would actually look really nice uh alongside all three of them and i would keep the shibuya rin and i think that the meta in general Cinderella Girl is not a part of the meta because the second season did not come out here. The second season cards are really strong um, for, as far as Japanese standards are concerned. They're, they've been used a quite a bit on those. And if anybody has this one here, Honda Mio on this one. SP, let me know. I'll, I'm, I'll probably end up paying a pretty penny for that. And Bang, uh, one of my guys, went heavy on Bang with a Birdcage Yukina. Um, long story short. This particular one sold for $79.99. The SPA um, shipped, I think, internationally like $30. Bucks, and they, the guy said, I am happy. Just, just ship it perfectly. Um, this set really was an eye-opener for myself. It, it, it was something that I didn't really care about. I didn't really like Bang. But the amount of units I've sold on Bang is around like 50, 60 units. And that, and that was me getting the boxes at a higher tier price point. I didn't know anything about these guys. Um, but yeah, so I think the next collection, the multi-live band party in general, that's going to be a mixture of multiple different trial decks that the Japan brought out, uh, multiple different other sets uh, the Japan Japanese brought out for Bang, um, all put into one set for the United States. I did mess out on one um, eBay auction. I was trying to pick a, like, 13 SR triple rares. I said, hey, I'll, I'll give you 40 bucks for them. The guy just kept saying 45 and it sold like two weeks later. And I was like, man, I really wanted all those shiny cards. I did pay for the birdcage. Um, I paid 40 bucks for the birdcage. 
Um, he had the SR of this one too, or the triple rare of this one. The intense shout, it looked really good. Um, here's my Kerta Expo one as well. And these are a couple of the case toppers as well on that. Um, for this particular one, I sold all the good SPs that I do have, but I did want to pick up um, uh, Toyama line right here. I have this one here. I don't know too much about these uh, characters, but uh, hopefully I'll see them on NHK's uh, year-end uh, music festival like this year. Uh, it was yesterday. They actually played uh, Token Rambo, so their musical, the guide musical, and then Love Live Sunshine's Aqueous team came up there and they did their song as well. So that was actually pretty cool. So those are you know your top people that are coming around, um, doing their thing. Well, let me put this back. Hopefully this will go right in. Cool. But yeah, hopefully you'll see. I'll see Bang's team. Maybe the Rosalia team in action. I saw them at the Kera, uh, the Kera Festival, the Expo. They were pretty cracking. It was pretty live. It was pretty tight. Uh, rather than that, we got two more left. So when it comes down to it, we have this one. So I have multiple, multiple sets. Alright. One of my favorite animes. By far. Um, I just watched the entire thing. Um... Tomoko Kuroki, I swear to God, I wish this was a, there was a part two of this one. Um, or they made an actual white shorts of it. This is just Five Cross. Um, it's just, you know, this is more reminds of uh, Chuninbyo, but this one's pretty funny. And it does get a little cringeworthy on what she does and how she does it, but um, she tries her best. She's really good. This is a really good anime if you just want something that's going to be a little lighthearted, a little slice of life, a little bit over-exaggerated, but I got the entire set finally, all 1 through 30 on the 5 cross. This one's going to be Konosuba. I am still looking for one SP out of the Konosuba. Um, you know, I do have quite a few SRs. This is the Konosuba one. I almost bought every single piece of it, but since it reprinted, um, I was pretty good. I'm still looking for, uh, there we go, let me pull this out right here. Megumi. I want the SP, but somebody, they threw it out there. I'm, I'm a buyer at about 150. Um, but I think somebody put it out there for 250. I'm like, dude, you need to go away with that. You just really need to go away with that. Um, but that's the thing. Being able to spend 300 bucks on rim, I still can't do it. 200 bucks on rim, I still can't do it. 150, uh, I could do it. So I'm in that 150 boat because I, I just don't have the money like that to spend on these cards. Um, but I am trying to, you know, do all these different things, work some little overtime so I can get a little bit of extra stuff um, and, you know, pick up what I want. And of course, part two, you see me open it up. I think I did a full uh, set review on here as well. I do like the set review on this. I'm probably going to pick up a couple more um, boosters on that. Um, these are the three I do have. So I got Darkness. I picked that one up for 40 bucks. I actually pulled Aqua and I pulled the other Aqua. So I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even mind uh, trading somebody this Aqua for the Megami because Megami was really tight. Um, but yeah, it's around that 250 price one that I see. Um, if you guys haven't seen Suzumiya Haruhi, I recommend watching Suzumiya Haruhi. Um, Watamote actually references Suzumiya Haruhi a whole lot. Like, I've never seen it. They just keep referencing um, Suzumiya Haruhi. Um, this is the entire set from part one all the way to the... Uh, I'm missing something here. What was this one? Ah, I'm missing something here. I think I have that one coming in. I remember that. But yeah, I'm, I have every single thing from here. This is the extra boosters. I'm missing a lot of the PR cards as well. Um, but the SP on this one here, and I'll show you. Let me pull this back as well because still want to talk about a little bit more about Watamote. And I'll tell you what episode to watch. It's pretty hilarious. It's a one minute stint on Watamote um, because. Watamote in general, they, again, they love referencing a lot of other animes. So, Suzumi Haruhi, I bought this one for about 30 bucks. This one I had to pay about 80 bucks for. I messed up the one in the back end right over there. The guy sent from TCG sent me with a broken um, top loader, taped it up, and I destroyed it myself. And this is just going to be the foil version of uh, Nagato Yuki. Now... If you haven't watched Suzumiya Haruhi, or if you watched it, and you like Nagato Yuki, you gotta watch their 
uh, I guess their spin-off where there's no such thing as aliens and no such thing as um, time travelers and all these different things. There's no such things on that. Well, oh, got a couple hits right there. There's no such thing as that. And then Nagato Yugi got their own little spin-off. I don't like it. She kind of reversed back to the end. Another spoiler alert. To this, not got to be the one I like, but that's the whole thing. Watamote, episode 8. Watch episode 8. She references Magic the Gathering. So she plays Magic the Gathering. By far now, I'm going to find these sleeves. I think I can find them for 20 bucks on Amazon. I'm picking up these sleeves. I don't care. I'm going to probably uh, hit up in uh, Edwin the Engineer in the comment section or look through his tech decks. I'm going to buy an old school deck and I'm going to put the sleeves on just for um, Kuroki Tomoko because I love it. It was tight. She was like, she's like, uh, they call her queen and she's one of the top players uh, in that little realm with all these little kids and she's playing Magic the Gathering. This was really cool. Um, but that's going to be one of my sets here. Um, now the last and final set, as you guys have probably noticed, I haven't talked about, but you know that I love the most. Now, oh, where are we going? Here we go. Oh, sorry about that. I meant the thing to do. Dun dun dun. Boom. Sword Art Online. My most favorite set. These are actually clear cards if you haven't seen them. I picked up, this comes like two for like two bucks. I bought them at, um, in Japan. Nice little clear cards. You know, this is where my playmat came from as well. I don't, I guess this might be something that you could do with the playmats. But I have multiple different ones. But ladies and gentlemen, when it comes down to it, I'm going to probably pick up a lot more. And I'm going to showcase to you guys in Japan where to go in um, Akihabara, Ikebukuro. If you want to take a look at a lot of their uh, cards, especially White Shorts is huge out there because of the anime land uh, and so forth. So when you turn the page, SAO um, S20. The entire set, 1 through 100. Um, I do have a couple of the SRs. Like, I believe this is an SR right up on top. Um, but the SRs on these are getting expensive. Like, 20 bucks for a card. It's like, dude. Come on, man. Come on. I, I, know, I know a place I can pick up the actual booster boxes in English for about that $65 range. Um, but I do pick up almost every single PR there is. Um, I forgot why I have this extra sheet there. But this is one's going to be the S. 26 the uh, SAO2 full entire set um, I was talking to one of my customers and I saw this booster box online for 55 bucks I was gonna pick it up he only had two the guy bought it before me and it had the SP of this one the beacon of host asana the one I wanted the most it had that SP I'm a buyer at about a hundred bucks on that um, but we got the full thing here as well 100% full set near mint never been touched never been used now this set is a, was a little bit difficult to piece together. I had to buy each individual card separately because this is the SAO 2 Extra Booster that sold out really fast because of the meta-defining Last Shot Xenon. And it had the SP of Last Shot Xenon. The thing is that when it comes down to another thing that comes down to white shorts and price is if it's a usable SP. This is a massive usable SP for the longest time, and I can't wait for what they're going to do with the alkalization arc. Um, but by far, um, this was a really difficult thing to put together. Um, I bought everything individual through TCG Player, and I got a special present coming out shortly with this particular um, product in mind. Um, other than that, this is a playset. Two, I believe, yeah. So it's a playset two. All, all foil variants are right here as well um, for the SAO V2 version two extra boosters. I got the entire full setup right here, um, all down to every single foil. You have your re edit, I believe, here. Oh, hold on, come on now. I have the re edit right here. Every single card of re edit. And I'll tell you right now, the toughest card that for me to get in the re edit. Oh, we got Last Shot again. So they had to reprint Last Shot because, dude, this one, that particular set sold out. And that was it. You can get it. Now it's Ordinal Scale, um, Climax Combo, Link Strike Combo, or you're going to use the last uh, shot seen on. Um, in this particular set, this is the card. Oh, right here. By far the toughest card to get was her. 
I cannot pull. I've opened like four or five of these boxes. I cannot pull that. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, that's that. Um, and then we have the SAO Ordinal Scale. I have a couple of the super rares as well. I just collect them as they go. Um, this is the one that I would actually spend a little bit more time collecting every single SP SR as long as it's not uh, expensive. But I do wish, um, you know, in sort of. All right, sorry about that. I just found out it's twenty nine fifty nine is where we're gonna cut off at, especially when it comes down to these videos. I gotta kind of, I guess, piece it together. I wish in sort of sort of online ordinal scale they would actually kind of done a little bit more with him um, and the girl, kind of like bridge the gap between it because I didn't, I've never seen him in the series, so they definitely uh, were a little bit of a hit and miss on there on that front. But this is the entire set. Um, but you guys know, like. Um, and that's one set, and I'm already ready for like the alkalization arc as well. Um, I feel like it's coming sooner or later, right? Um, but let's talk about this really quickly here. This is kind of like one thing about Sword Online that I do want to kind of highlight here. This is going to be out of the first one. Let me go into the blue set. Yeah, the blue set. Here we go. Is this. So, oh, actually, no, this is not even the first one. First one's way over here. Ah, we'll move that over. So let me put some food for thought on this one. Not Yui, but Sachi. My favorite character before she died. Now, if Sachi stayed alive through the whole thing, do you think Kirito and Asuna would have gotten together? I don't think so. And the, the reason why people hate Kirito because he's an overpowered guy. He became number one in Ordinal Scale, but he took a little slight back. And Asuna was pretty damn strong. But the thing is that he, he's overpowered, plus... You got two of the top girls in Sword Art Online. And you guys could saw it on the New Type magazine when I pulled it out, right? Um, yeah, and that's kind of the reason why people do not do not like this particular guy. So we're going to do um, a lot more on the anime talk as well soon. But these are my SPs out of there. We have a Leafa. For some reason, I always get Leafa. I bought this for about 60 bucks. Song Shushuna. Pride and Joy. I would, I would equivalent this to a, probably a Mox. Last shot seen on, picked that up for about a hundred bucks. Um, I don't I think I pulled this one and didn't buy it. I bought this one for about 80 bucks when it first came out. This one I bought for about 20 bucks. It was really cheap. This is a cheaper one. I pulled this one for sure. And you know, if I can't have any other girls, I would actually pick Lizbeth. So hopefully at the end of Sword Online, they kind of showcase who gets away who. And hopefully Lizbeth finds uh, someone good for her. You know, look at that. I, I like Lizbeth. Lizbeth definitely is one of the stronger ones I like. I do like. And the cool thing I do like on this is that they do change up the actual sign. So for each hot stamp, as long as they, don't, they don't reuse it. They change it up a little bit. Um, pick this one. No, I pulled this one. I know I, I pulled this one. I picked this one up for 45 50 bucks. I picked this one up for 60 for sure. I pulled this one. And then I pulled these two. And that's the my entire collection. And that's kind of like where my standpoint is on this. I love white shorts. I love anime. And I told you I'm going to get in there. We're going to do some tech uh tech deck videos on what i like because you know i like the flashiness of it um but this is the reason why you know when it comes down to me uh what i do like and what i don't like and what sets i do collect and that's kind of for me to tell you guys hey we got multiple things going on over here but this is for me to tell you guys hey you know even if i don't know how to play Y shorts i love trading card games and now we'll definitely learn how to play um, and these are a couple of the things that do have it from Japan if you guys haven't seen they have multiple different anime card games have you ever seen this particular one chaos TCG um, I believe this one is with the Guren Taicho um, I want to say it's I forgot what it was, I really forgot what the anime was but it's a really good anime you should watch it try to look for I think it's like the it's like uh, I want to say it's Magical school, Rokka Getsu no Majitsu. I believe it's that Rokka Getsu no Majitsu. That's a really good anime. I think you should watch it. Um, I'm missing the original person, the main character. Um, the reason was, was I was contemplating. I saw it. I was gonna buy it, but I was gonna pay a hundred bucks for it. I saw it for forty bucks. I went back in Akihabara. Came back. It was gone. So that's the reason why I only have. 
three of the four. Um, other than that, if you haven't seen this, I'm missing her friend as well, Ahogar. She's, <laughs> this is pretty funny. It talks about banana, really just humorous comedy. Take a look at it. It's really short uh, episodes. Um, check into that. Um, my also, another anime that's big on my list is Love Comedy Snafu. I love it. I bought the freaking Blu-ray for it. Um, uh, Hiki Hachiman, whatever his name was. But I do like her. She's probably the best character. Um, but she's more fun. Um, other than that, that's the Precious Memories TCG. And then my last one on the Precious uh, Memories TCG. If you guys haven't watched Miyamori Shirobako, it's about anime, making an anime. Watch it. Um, I got all the actual characters. So if you guys want to see them all, I have them all. These are the gold stamps. Shirobako Yasuhara Emma Angel Taisel is the probably the best stupid funny anime uh, inspired dance ever um, in the waifu uh, waifu arena I would love Yasuhara Emma she's tight uh, those are the gold stamps these are gonna be all the silver stamps I picked them all up as well and then I have all of them again in a um, SR format somewhere around here I have them all, I have them all though in an SR format but ladies and gentlemen other than that, there is another one that they also do have, which is White Sox. If you haven't seen White Sox, the anime watch is pretty darn good. Um, this, these two particular cards remind me of something pretty good. This one reminds me of like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Fairy Injection Lily. Um, and then this one's supposed to be a very special rare to get. I bought the boxes for about 20 bucks and I just cracked it open. So FYI, you're going to see a lot coming out in uh, March with me in Japan you're gonna see a lot of crazy things a lot of cards I'm gonna pick up um, as well um, if you guys are buying for me shortly um, on eBay and anything like that um, I will be gone for about a week and a half uh, starting probably on Thursday so I won't be able to do anything you'll see my store go on like a uh, vacation break but other than that thanks for watching thanks for taking a look at my entire collection we'll see what we get for 2019 um, actually I already got a couple things for 2019 uh, already lined up I got a Tosaka Rin from Fate Stay Night that I want to be selling. Um, picked it up for a really uh, steal of a deal. Um, but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stitch this uh, actual uh, videos together. But again, I love collecting. I love this stuff. So guys, watch me grow. Hopefully, I can get, I'm going to get into that LGS uh, place where we can talk anime, watch anime. You just come chill with me, do whatever you want, read a manga, do some homework, whatever it may be. Ladies and gentlemen, again, thank you very much. Hit that subscribe button if you can. If you're listening to this very end of it, I'm trying to hit that thousand uh, uh, sub mark so we can get that monetization going. Yes, it is advertisement, but I'll be honest with you exactly what comes out of it. If you guys want to know, I want to know. Let's make it happen. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Take care. And have a wonderful New Year's.